Hey, my name's Zach, and I wanted to show you how to cut and paste in Photoshop Elements. Now, this is a pretty easy process. What I'm going to do is actually take one image and paste it onto another. So, here I have a picture of myself. For demonstration purposes, let's add an image here too. All I'm going to do is open up my Explorer window, go to Desktop, scroll down, and here I have a triangle image saved. All I'm going to do is click and drag it into here. Now we're going to crop this. And you can just make a tiny box like that and position it in the middle. That's what I like to do. And then pull out. And obviously you would move it around as you would need it. Right about there looks good. We'll hit the checkbox. Now we're also going to resize this image. So we're going to hit Control A and then Control T. And if you don't hit Shift, it'll keep proportional. But if you hit Shift, it will actually be unproportional, the opposite of what Photoshop normally does. And we'll hit the checkbox and then control X to cut it. And again, I'll undo that. Make sure everything's selected. So we'll click off. We'll hit control D to deselect. And then we'll hit control A. And you notice the whole canvas is selected. That's not what we want. So we'll just use this selection tool here. Make sure you still hit Control D, and then just highlight over what you want. And we'll say Control X once we pull our feathering down. Now we'll come over to me and hit Control V. Now this isn't exactly what I want it to look like, so I'm going to transform the size. And we'll just paste it here. Another cool thing you can do with this is actually use the magic eraser. Since it's on a different layer, we're not going to actually affect the background where my portrait is. And with the magic eraser, we'll hit white, 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 and white. Now we can move this image around to our heart's content wherever we like. Sure, that'll do. My name's Zach, and I just showed you how to cut and paste, among other things, in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.